Hello and welcome to Learning to Breathe. Uh, today you're joining me while I set up my monthly planner for August. Um, as you can see in front of me, I have got my printouts ready, I've got my stickers ready, so get yourself a drink, get yourself comfy, and I hope you enjoy this video. So it wouldn't be a start of August if I didn't have my lovely little sticker starting off my month. So I stick that sticker right there and then um, I'm ready to start. So the first thing I put down, monthly layout for August. What I will do is um, I will leave the links down if you like this layout um, in my description bar. I got these off Etsy. And that is my August layout down. Um, what I'm going to do is do the same for my weekly planner and start sticking it down. But what I'm going to do is do it like magic. And they're down. The weekly planner has now been completed. So they are now ready for the month for me to be able to fill out or most likely ignore. But what I'm trying to do this month is actually use it. I've got into a bad habit of not using it. And the whole point is for me to use this as much as my monthly one. So what we're gonna do now is head over to um, the blank pages after the weekly planner and start filling these out the way that I need them for the rest of the month. So this page will be a notes page. So this is just if I need to write any notes for the month and um, I can't fill it in with what I have available here. And I'm just gonna line it in underneath. There we go. Um, this used to have two pages, but because I don't, I do use it, but not that much. Um, that's now just gone down to the one. So the next page, this lovely page here, will get done out as my expense tracker for the month. So to start with, I'm gonna use this sticker to decorate the page. So we're just gonna write, put this up at the top, to say August. And then under here is gonna have expense tracker written. And then all I'm gonna do on the side of that is pick, what should we pick? I think I might go for the little flower. That's quite cute. It's a little bit too big, but that doesn't matter. And shall we have a B? So that is the expense tracker page ready to be filled out. So as you can see with me writing already, this is where we're going to be keeping my weekly check-in page. So. Um, I am changing this up a little bit this month after doing it last month. Um, I'm gonna do this off camera and I'm back with the finished article. So um, I will go more into this when I do uh, my next check-in and obviously a full video. As you can see on this, I've changed the categories. So it's now um, the monthly amount, the weekly amount, how much I've spent and then how much is left for the month. Um, I will go into this in more detail in my next check-in video. But yeah, that's the new layout that I have. So after this, the last page we have to do is for side hustles and um, I will say now I'm not going to go into too much detail for side hustles because that's one that I more do on a video because at the moment I don't know what side hustles I'm going to get things change during the month I might get uh, market research I might not so all I'm going to do is write side hustles so I know that's what this page is for so there you go you'll have to check back at the end of the month of my videos to see how I got on. So now we're going to pop back to the beginning as all this now is filled out and get into what you guys are actually here for. Get those stickers down. So what we're going to start with are my paydays. So what I'm going to start with is getting the stickers out that I need for this section of the video. So my first payday of the month is the 6th. So we will put the payday sticker there. There we go. And if you followed me, I was about to say if you followed me for a while, I've only been doing this for a month. Um, if you've seen my previous one, you know that on every um, Friday payday, I put some savings away for a saving challenge. So I put a little sticker there. I don't fill it in because I don't know how much I'm gonna put away. Obviously, 
as there's some things going on at the moment which will be discussed in check-in videos so all I do is I put a little payday sticker and then I put my little piggyback stickers my next payday after that is on the 11th this payday actually gets put away and I won't touch it till next month um, I work a month ahead so I've already got the money to live off this month so this will go into a bank account so I will use it next month and then my last payday of the month is on the 20th so I get me, give myself another little sticker so every Friday payday I do a saving challenge so that's what these little pigs are for um, and then this is out I'm going to put the August sticker in as you can see here I've got my little tag so I know which month to go to so all I do is I grab those lay it so it's, it's sort of close to it that will do nicely about there stuck on fold it over and my August tag is on I might have to sort that out later but it is on there now I'm going to decorate it just to make it a bit more pleasing to the eye um, as I have these really cute little August stickers left I'm going to put some of these on because you know why not I do like this enjoy the little things sticker so I'm going to put that there and I quite like this you see that little ice cream van an ice cream van went round, went past yesterday but we had no change on us and I got very excited so, so I think this month if I see an ice cream van go past I'm definitely going to have to have one and as I have an inflatable pool, I'm definitely going to put this little pool time one on because that is ridiculously cute. Hopefully the nice weather comes back because it keeps trying to rain on us. As I track my expenses here, what I'm also going to do is a little key. As you would have seen with my check-in, let me go back to that page. As you have seen with my check-in, it's changed so there's only four categories. So I'm only going to use four expense trackers this month. Um, if anything changes this month, I will obviously let you know in a video. Um, but I'm just going to use the four this month. So I'm just going to put my little key here. So when you're watching this video and you see me putting the stickers down, you'll know what they're for. The expense trackers that I will be using this month are from Busy Bee Planner Studio. All links will be in my description bar. So the first one that we'll be putting down is for grocery. So I'm just going to put that there and these are for groceries there we go and then this one as you can probably see from my writing is for spending green is for sinking funds and that will go there And orange, orange is usually my unbudgeted, but I'm changing that this month to miscellaneous um, because it covers a lot of categories. I've got a couple of birthdays this month, any other expenses, that kind of stuff. It's all budgeted for, but instead of there being lots of different stickers, I'm just going to have it under the miss category. And that's going to be orange this month. So there you go. Those are my expense trackers for the month. And then just to add to it, I'm just going to put this little quote because I don't know about you guys, I really need some motivation at the moment. So what I'm going to do is get some of my tape and decorate this a little bit. I'll be right back.
and there we go Auger setup is completed and it's all ready to go for me to do my budget planning for the month so um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video um, if you've enjoyed it please give it a like comment um, if there's anything I've forgotten to do please let me know you know when you have that feeling I've totally got that feeling at the moment um, so yeah thank you so much for watching hope you've really enjoyed it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and I will see you guys really soon bye